Welcome back to Project Zomboid as a deaf and slightly blind character. My name is Nick. Let's get straight into it. Last episode, we had a little bit of a rough start trying to uh, get the pinball wizard up and on his feet. But towards the tail end of the video, we uh, we actually got him around and he seems to be doing somewhat well. But we don't actually have any weapons, do we? No, we have that hammer. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's nighttime out, so I'm absolutely not going to go outside. That is a death trap waiting to happen. I think I'm going to sit inside of here in the bathroom, the safest room, and I'm going to read a book. I'm going to read that. Ah, I'm still mad that we broke the spiked baseball bat. Very upset. That's okay, though. There'll be more where that came from. Okay, it's morning now. So the idea I think I have here is I would like to start trying to clear some of these houses and moving north. Probably towards the area where I set off that house alarm. Terrible idea, but we're going to do it anyway. I also got to get a lot of this stuff out of my main inventory and into these this bag over here. Okay, I suppose this is as ready as we're ever going to be. Oh, God. Yep, let's... Huh, let's do this. First and foremost, I have a pen. I've cleared this house. Let's mark it off. Okay. Here's to hoping that maybe through the night some of those zombies to the north of us disperse. Hopefully they dispersed more north and not towards the south. That would be anything but good. Not being able to hear when I'm Breaking their skull in is very frustrating. That one's dead. That one's also dead. This house seems as good as any. Let's go inside. Doors open and everything. I suppose we'll go upstairs. Why not? No. No. Uh. Not being able to hear that there are zombies nearby. Oh. Oh, painkillers. I'm probably going to need those sooner rather than later. Hmm. A cardboard box with a, a crowbar? That's a two-handed weapon, right? Yeah, okay. I'm a fan of the two-handed weapons in this game. They seem to be just a little better. And they more often than not seem to hit more than one zombie at once, which is very nice. A rubber duck? Better just drink from this toilet real quick. Ooh, this one has the automated emergency broadcast system. Wait, no, that's right. I'm deaf. I can't actually hear. Oh, God. Um. I feel like something has happened. There are zombies in my house. There are zombies in my house. <laughs> Sir and ma'am, please, away with you. This is great. Oh, man, I hope I didn't screw anything up too badly. You know, the crowbar isn't that good, but it's not that bad either. Should probably equip this leather jacket. That'll help out. Maybe if I get bit, I won't take any damage. That'd be so nice. I'm gonna have to make one of these houses for the time being where I set up shop. I think this one will be... Let's just do this one because we haven't explored it yet, so... Watch, I'm going to unload all of my stuff, and then I'm going to realize that I set a house alarm off in here. And then I'm just not going to be able to grab all my stuff back. Probably be a good idea to eat some food. I'm going to just eat, like, all of the fresh stuff before it starts to spoil. Oh, I saw some antidepressants over here. Count me in. Not really a lot in this house. That's okay. This is just where we're going to make do for the time being. And since I'm not really going to make do for the time being, I'm just going to start sticking some of this stuff in a random place. Things that I don't think we're going to need quite right now. Oh, it looks like somebody's already been in here. Let's take a peek and see what's going on. Hmm. Well, if a zombie's in there now, he's farther back. You know, maybe standing right in front of the window where the zombies can probably 100% grab me. Maybe I should not do that. As I eat a banana and drink some milk. Like some sort of madman. 
Nothing in there. Is it that? Oh, there is a zombie. Ah, sir. Hey, why aren't you attacking? Hey, why aren't you attacking? Hey, 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 hey. Oh my god, they really do get stuck on TVs, don't they? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, he's got a nightstick, though. Those things are great. I'm gonna steal that night. It's stick and have a good rip starting time. Where are the zombies coming from? Why are they still here? Where are they coming from? Stop it, sir. Oh my god. Okay. Um, before more zombies decide to come out of the gosh darn woodwork. Lord have mercy. That could have gone much more poor than it did. I think they might have been coming from upstairs, so let's hope that there's not a lot. Oh, wait, is this where my original character... Or, yeah, I think this might be where one of my characters died. Yep, this was me. That was me. I just killed myself. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. I think for the time being we're good, though. I don't think there's anybody else in the house right now. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, that's... Yep, yeah, okay. That's where I died. You can see my griddle pan just chilling on the ground here. You know. Slightly depressing, but that's okay. I'm gonna regret this. But let's walk north a while without looting any of the buildings. There's four. Four is not a lot. Four is doable. Against my better judgment, four is doable. Well, let's get a closer look here. Back up. Back up, back up. Come on. Well, that one's dead. Oh, that one's also dead. And that one's dead. Okay. Good uh, good work. See you next week. Oh my god. Why are there two cars right next to each other that look in like somewhat usable condition? You know what? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Nick. Doesn't seem like there's anybody super nearby. I'm going to see if I can get in these cars and see what's going on here. No key. Trunk is unlocked, though. Glove box, glove box. <gasps> the key! That's great, actually, though. Okay, so now we've got a key. I'll grab that eraser, too, actually. There is no gas in the car. That's okay. Let's check to see how the car's insides are doing. You know what, actually? That's a pretty decent car for the zombie apocalypse. What is... Can I get in this car? I can. No key. The trunk is locked, though. In here. Oh, my God. Another another key that's i think the game's feeling bad for me car battery an empty gas can sign me up oh my character's getting tired actually this is gonna be like the last zombie we kill because i am not walking around being tired trying to kill zombies there's no gas in this one either i suppose we can just hope because we have a gas can i suppose we can hope to find a car that does have gas that doesn't work. Then we can siphon the gas. Oh, you know what? And we can take a look at which of those two vehicles is better. And then use the vehicle that's not as good. Absolutely just plow through all of the zombies that were brought up to the north by the house alarm. I think that'll be a great idea. Okay, my character seems to be pretty tired, but... I would- Hey, I thought I closed this door. Jeez Louise. That could have been terrible. My character seems pretty tired. I'm gonna read a little bit before I go to bed, though. Mm, you know what? Smart money's on me. Because I don't know if the zombies can see you from upstairs. So I'm gonna close that curtain. And I'm gonna read this book for the next however many hours I decide to read this book. You can't stop me. No matter how hard you try. Ooh, I'm very tired. You know what? Okay. We're up. We're at him. Gonna grab a little bit of food. Fill up this water bottle. And then... We're gonna go up north and see... See the damage. I'm not looking... I'm not looking forward to that. Let's go get just mercilessly beat by some zombies. There's a dead zombie over there. I don't know if... Oh, I did kill him. That was where I was trying to make my last stand when I freaking hurt my leg. Ooh, a van. 
You know what vans are? Oh. Oh. Okay. Hey there. Hey, my name is Nick. Good to see you. Hey. I'm trying. I'm trying. Let it be let it be known that Nick did indeed try to kill this many zombies, okay? Let it be known. If I can kill all these zombies, I'm going to be so proud of myself. I'm going to sleep well tonight if I can kill all these zombies. Don't think it's going to happen. By God, no, but how great would that be anyway? I could use the old fence tactic and then wait for them all to jump over and start beating their brains when they're down on the ground, but that one often leads to me getting my feet bit, and considering I don't have boots or, you know, I'm not wearing, like, actual pants. I think uh, I think that would be a not good idea. I'm actually killing quite a few of them. This is actually is going pretty well. Yeah, the nightstick is, uh... Oh, that's not a bad weapon. Huh. Who would have thought? Oh, that wasn't even all of them. That was some... Why are there so many vehicles? My god. I'm not mad, but holy crap. I feel like this is just a taste of what's to come when we get, a, like, a couple of buildings farther up there. Where the alarm really went off. Oh, man. The van's open. Yeah. My god, why is everything so open today? That was me in the middle seat. No, we need to... I want to go into the freaking driver's seat. There's not a key. There's no key in here. There could be a key in the house. I suppose I could check. Open the trunk. Another gas can. You know what? I'm game. I can siphon gas. I'm I'm not going to even bother looking for the key inside the house. Because if there's a key inside the house, great. I can just siphon the gas back from the car I'm about to put it in. <laughs> but right now, I think we need the gas a bit more than we don't. So There is... That's, like, no gas at all. Unequipped primary. We don't know. What are you doing? I was really hoping there would be more gas than it was. Hmm. Well, there's another van literally one house over. Maybe there'll be some gas in that. This one is, uh eh, not bad either, but not good. Is that a construction guy? It is. That means we get a hard hat. I love hard hats. Wear the hat. Oh, and boots, too. Sweet. Um. So, from what I can see... Oh, okay. That's a lot of zombies and one singular Nick. That's great. Okay, so all these vehicles are indeed open for some reason. Trunk is unlocked. No key for this car. Found. There's no, there's no gas either. But this car is also probably in like 50% condition. Actually, this one's a little better. Maybe set off another alarm, move them all down here. Let's see if we can find a key. That'd be so nice. No, I don't think we're going to be finding a key in here. That's depressing. Oh, some more duct tape though. Very little gasoline. For the car i think i'm going to pick the car that has the highest condition hood and that's the one that i'm going to go run over all the zombies with because once we're done with this car it's going to be completely undrivable which is okay i suppose the hood is 46 percent on this one how about on this one the hood is 43 on this one uh, you know what? I'm gonna use this one. Ha! Ah, you can't hear the car. That's... That's funny. This this car is gonna run out of gas pretty much immediately. It's gonna get me killed. What are y'all doing? Come on. Don't you know that I'm running you over? Oh my god, that's a lot. Oh, this was a great idea, Nicholas. Oh, come on. Go back around, go back around. 
Oh, mow him down. Oh my god. The car ran out of gas. <laughs> ah! Run away. Was that worth it? I'd say maybe a little bit, but not as much as you probably think it was. We should run away now. I'm gonna run all the way back down to the house. Hopefully they won't be able to find me. There we go. Come on, jump on through. We're we're gonna go and uh, hide a little bit. This was this the house that we decided to live in? It was. Why did I leave the door open? I'm really good at that. I jumped the fence, so I lost line of sight with them. Hopefully that helps out in the long run here. Okay, well, I think I'm going to call it there for now. <laughs> Shenanigans with the car. I really thought that that would work a lot better than it did. That's okay. If I had more gas, I probably could have killed the vast majority of them, but we had literally like a minute's worth of gas. Not even. That's okay. I'll come up with some amazing way to get rid of the horde next episode. But if you enjoyed today's episode of Project Zomboid. Give it a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Thanks to my patrons, Anonymous, Dr. Maritimus, and Riley Anderson. Y'all are the best. And until next time, stay safe out there, and peace out.